We're not creative enough, and we're not positive enough. It's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming Maybe this will be the tournament. Are you facing ridiculous teams and you're stuck with ones just like this? Well, look no further. Head over to u 7 buycom and get yourself some foot coins using the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. It'll be linked in the description. They are cheap, safe, and the most reliable. So make sure you go ahead and check them out and make your team better than ever. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the title, we're here with a different kind of challenge, I guess, video for foot champions. This week, Euro 2020 in 2021. Obviously, England are in it, the home nation that I am from, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. And I thought, let's do a champs-related challenge video for it, as, you know, it's pretty hype. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Let me know in the comments below where you think England are going to finish, who you think is going to win it. You might not even be from England if you're from a different country. Let me know that country down below, and let me know what chance you think you have. Just before we get into the rest of the video, though, I want to say a quick thank Thank you to our sponsors for today's video and that is Retro Jerseys FC. Retro Jerseys FC are a site where you can go ahead and purchase retro replica football kits. You can get your hands on club kits, you can get your hands on national kits as well. Just like the one I am wearing right now in this video, you can get literally from this site. You can also even get these kits and get your custom name on the back or even a player that used to wear the kit that you are a big fan of or used to love watching. And as Retro Jerseys FC are sponsoring this video, they have got a discount for you guys, my viewers, which is buy two, get three that will last 24 hours. The link to the site will be in the top line of the description. But anyways, back on to this video and what we're going to be doing. So plan is or action is to bring it home in Foot Champions. Uh, you might be thinking, what am I on about? Basically, we're going to go on to lovely old FIFA 21 that we all obviously dearly love. And we're going to go ahead and build ourselves an England squad and play a couple of games in Foot Champions. Bearing in mind as well, it is the ultimate team of the season week. So the Foot Champions right now is literal ultimate sweat. It's going to be hard, but we're going to play till we win. It could be the first game. It could take us 10. I don't even know if I've got 10 games remaining, actually. I might, I might not. But we're going to try our best. We're going to try and get us a creative team as we possibly can. I don't know if why we're going to use icons, haven't decided yet. We'll figure that all out when we're on FIFA. So that is the plan of action. Let's bring it home. Get England's first victory towards a trophy that we haven't seen in God knows how many years now. It's not 30 years. The song's lying nowadays. If you guys do enjoy this kind of video anyway, smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. And also let me know in the comments below, like I said, if you are hyped for the Euros. But anyways, that's enough of me waffling for this intro. England flags up, England shirts on. Let's get ourselves into the game. And let's build this squad. All right, let's create our new squad. There's only one thing we're calling it. It's coming home, baby. Okay, let me see what England players have got in my club first. Then we'll go for the market and add some more players to it. Okay, let's filter it. England nation. Let's have a search. Oh, yes. We have got some cards to work with. You know what? Let me just throw a load of the cards that I've got already into a squad. Then I'll show you what we're working with. And then we can start building. All right, so here's a load of the players that I've got in a squad. But I'm just thinking now, like, I feel like we should only use players that are actually in the Euro squad. I feel like I'm kind of cheating if I don't do that. So, yeah, we're going to have to remove a few of these. So out goes Curtis Jones, Tavernier, Beckham, because he's definitely not playing in this. I can tell you that. See, we've got Trent in here, but obviously he's been out because of injury now. So he's not going to be involved. And then we've got Lingard, who could be called up. So, oh, God, I don't know what to do. I guess we keep Lingard and drop Trent because I feel like Lingard will get the call up. However, by the time this video out, we already know, and I might be completely wrong, but we'll see. Obviously, Mr. Rooney won't be taking part as he is now officially retired. Sadly, Wan Bissaka as well, changing nations. Sad for me as a United fan, I can't lie. Also, Damari Gray won't be there. Ivan Tony. Oh, small and Gomez will be perfect for this. That is a kick in the teeth, I can't lie. Like, literally, I don't know who we're going to be using at centre back. It's not going to be pretty. And also, I forgot Nick Pope. Yeah, he, uh, he's not actually in the squad either. So now we've definitely got to bring some plays into this that we're going to have to fix. But let's just actually put some of these plays that we've got currently into a team and see what we're looking at at the moment. So formation wise, uh, do we go for a classic Southgate? He loves a couple of defensive midfielders. So we might have the rock something like a, a 4 2 3 1. However, I might start something different out of game just so we can get the plays that we want to use. On chemistry. Okay, so let's switch some of this about. Look, Shaw is going to be in here. Maguire, probably we're going to have to use him. And he doesn't actually have a single special card. Mount's got to be in here somewhere. We need to definitely change him from striker. Grealish as well. Grealish is going to be in my midfield. But that will mean we don't have two CDMs. But, you know, screw it. We don't want to play two CDMs. We want to be attacking. So left mid, we're going to definitely chuck Rashi in. Striker, we definitely need to go and get someone for that. And we know pretty much who's going to be striker. Let's be honest. Right wing, I'm going to put Sancho as I have him. And because Odin actually doesn't have a card. 
so it's kind of like, yeah. It's not, yeah, I think he's the best card he's got. He's a man of the match, but we'll definitely get him in the bench, I think. I guess we put Trippier at right back or Walker. I think Walker's centre back as the good old FIFA meta goes. And then we could play Trips at right back or we could bring in a Reese James instead. But, you know, Trippier will do for now. Trippier will do. So this is the team we're looking at with the players that I've got in my club. So now it's time to go fill in the slots that we haven't got players in. And then we're ready to rock and roll. Goalkeeper-wise, we're going to go for Pickford because I already just know that Southgate's going to pick him. So we might as well chuck him in goal. I just realised I've got Henderson sitting here. He can definitely be used, actually. I, I don't know why I didn't actually include him. So we'll chuck Henderson in there. I don't think he has a special card either, sadly. Striker-wise, I feel like he's got to be Kane, right? It has to be. There's no debate. It has to be Harry Kane. Not a bad card at all to have. We'll take it. So I've decided to go and buy some real Enforcements for the bench. Definitely some super subs. Some nice ones as well. So obviously we already have Mr. Bellingham on there and Lingard and Sterling. But I've gone ahead and bought Future Stars Saka, Man of the Match Foden, Declan Rice... And Reese James is obviously on there as well. Declan Rice was definitely the key one there because we know Southgate loves to see the M's. I couldn't go against that, so it had to happen. So that is the team completed. I think we're pretty much ready to get ourselves into a game. And sadly, Southgate isn't on the game, so we've gone as Brexit as we could, as English as we could, with Mr. Sean Dyche. So we're going to get into a game. Let's see if we can bring this home. I'll meet you guys when we find our. I'll meet you guys when we find our first opponent. Might be our last. Might be our first of many. Let's see what we can do. I need to get this flag down though. There's one thing we need to do before we play. It's time for the national anthem. A few moments later. God save our queen. All right, let's have it. Let's bring it home. Come on then. All right, we found an opponent and his team is. Oh my God, not a bad one. About five icons, I think that is, including Prime Moments, Cantona. He's got Kimmich in there, Kessie, PK, Courtois, Quadrado, Prime Moments, S. Oh my God. Well, I don't know if we'll be bringing it home in this game, but we'll try our best. All right, come on, the England boys. Oh, that's a ball. That is a ball. Maguire is trying to get across. Oh, it's a good save. Here we go. Okay, back to Sancho. Flip flap. Sancho on the finish. What a finish. It could be coming home in the first game. Oh my God. Jaden Sancho. Take a bow, son. Take a bow. Nice, Walker. Kane. Oh, that's a ball from Sancho. Harry Kane. He's got some space. Harry Kane with the chip. Well, I nearly celebrated too early, but the guy scored an own goal. Let's go. We'll take it. We'll take it. Kane's making the movement again. Harry Kane. Good touch from Kane. He's got space again. The guy's probably going to rage quit here. We could be bringing it home. He plays it back into Sancho. Ah. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pickford. Okay, I think the guy was about to quit, but now he's uh, scored. He, he might be staying in. I can't lie. Hit the Rashi. Rashford. Take on Kessie. <laughs> We've got the 2-0 lead back. Well played, Walker. Hey, that is a foul. That was a foul. You're joking me. I've been scammed. That was a foul, referee. Kane. Back in. Back into Rashford. What a ball. What a ball and what a goal. Oh, my God. That was absolutely beautiful. It's 4-2 at half time. That is beautiful. Okay, then. What a way to end the first half. Oh, 4-2 up. We definitely got to get some of the bench boys on, I think. Definitely. Give them a shout. Just in case this is our only game. So... Who are we going to switch out? This is what we're playing in the game, the 4 3 one, two. Saka's going to come on, I think. I don't know where we're going to put him. Maybe we put him on... Oh, I don't know. That's a hard choice. That is a hard choice. Who do we take off for him? You know what? Saka's going to come on for Henderson. Mount's going to play in the defensive role. And we'll switch Saka and Grealish around because of their strong foots. And we'll go from there. We'll leave the other subs for now and see how we get on in the second half. Come on, sure. Let's go. Oh my god, the Sancho uh, Rashford link up here is ridiculous and it's a finish. Wow, Sancho with two incredible through balls. He's paused it. The guy has paused it. We could see a quit. I don't know. He might be making changes, but it could be possible. Oh, he stayed in. Our opponent wants it. Okay, I like it. Ball from me, Walker. Oh, oh, that's a goal. It's 5-3. It's all good. We're still two goals up. Stay calm. Sancho's got some space here to work with. He's took on PK already. He's absolutely sent PK to the shops. Harry Kane. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Maguire's left open against Kimmich. Uh, and he's now against... Yeah, it's 5-4. This is not great. This is not great. All right, we're going to go with Saka at left back. Luke Shaw's going to come at centre back because Maguire cannot handle it. He, like, mate, Maguire's literally slow enough at the start of the game, let alone literally in like the 80th minute. And then I think we're going to switch Martin Greenish around. And do I have a defensive midfielder? Bellingham. We'll put Bellingham at CDM. Wait, Magu what's Maguire still doing on? What is Maguire still doing on? Who did I take off? Who did I take off? Okay, make some mount. Here we go. Run this into the box. Cut it back. Bang. Send him. 
He sent him. He still got it. Penalty! That's a penalty! I've been robbed! I've been robbed! He's gonna run it into the box. Cut it back. Make some mount on the edge. No, Rashford's in the middle. Bang! And that's three assists for Sancho. And I think like three goals at least for Rashford as well. Oh, two goals back in the lead, baby. Oh, that's a ball. That is a ball. Pickford! Oh, no. They just scored in the 90th minute. But it's fine. Not long left. We should be able to hold on now. Saka with the pace. See you later, mate. You are not keeping up with Bukayo Saka. Can we get one more for the boys? He's cut inside. Oh, I guess he's got the ball. Oh, this guy's giving up. We could get one more. Get it into Kane. Kane in the back post. There we go. I don't care that the guy gave up. I wanted the goal for Captain Kane. And there we go. There's the final whistle. We brought it home, baby. We've done it. Get the flag. Get the flag. Get in there, my son. All right, so there we go. That does wrap up this video. I thought we'd have a bit of fun before the Euros kicks off, especially with the English team, you know, backing the nation. I cannot wait, like I said earlier. I've probably so many times through this video. I'm so excited for the Euros. Like I said earlier, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below who you think is going to win the Euros, how far do you think England are going to make it, and if you are from a different nation, let me know what you think your chances are of winning the Euros as well. But yes, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.